What's up, Jim? We're back again with another workout today. Yep! Yeah. You know what time it is. I'm back! Now, nah, I'm just the same old guy just training every single day, trying to make gains happen. But that's what you gotta be doing. You gotta be in it to win it. You gotta be motivated. You gotta be dedicated to the cause, making those gains. And gains don't come any tougher than building biceps. So for all you guys out there who, you know, on that quest to build better peaks, better physiques, you know, when you tune into my channel, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get raw content. You're going to get good advice. You're going to see true, honest, hard work day in, day out. No days off, except, you know, you know, those days where you go on vacation, you need to lay in the sun for a few days. But even then, you still making gains. So, as you can see guys, I'm kind of going through my bicep routine, which I started off similar to last week with the first two exercises being preacher curls and now in this current clip, spider curls. But however, saying that, I didn't follow the exact same protocol, I switched it up. So, what I did in this particular session was I thought I'd go and revisit a few different exercises that I've done previously, but not for a little while now. I think what's important when you're training your biceps, as it's such a small muscle group, you can't ego lift, you've got to squeeze on your contractions, you've got to lower and put a lot of emphasis on the negative aspect of the repetitions as you're going back down each time. and. You've got to make sure that volume is high, which is something I feel like I always do in every session. So here's one of those exercises that I revisited that I was talking about, arm curl machine. By this time, my arms were quite depleted, so heavier weights were not what I was able to adopt. By this time, it's just all about getting the blood into that muscle as much as possible and exhausting the biceps but most particularly exhausting that short head. But there you are, that's what you gotta do. I mean, for me, I've been training, well, I'm talking about 18 years now. It's taken me a while to build these guns, but I'll always place definition over mass, that's what I do. I switch up hand grips in times I'm addressing the short head and then I switch it up set by set addressing the long head. Often I don't even plan a lot of my sessions. I just walk into the gym, I see a few machines that are free and I just express myself. I just think it's best to keep the body guessing. I don't want my body to get used to one workout. I don't want it to get used to one regime. All I want to do is just build lean mass. But that takes time, hence the name. So that's what you gotta do. In this current clip, that's probably one of the, my favorite exercises. And this one you're currently seeing now, just in a video, I'll put a link in the description below. This is an amazing exercise to finish off any bicep session. It will give you the peaks and it will really even out maybe some imbalances that you may have with your biceps. The struggle is real, but if you apply yourself, you can achieve great things. And that's what I intend to do in physique bodybuilding. I'm not gonna be like anyone else, I'm just gonna be me. So there you have it guys, that is my workout for today. That's my little rant. Hope you guys all enjoyed and you can take something out of this workout and apply it to your own workouts. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments down below, and until next time, 